I am asking that Injil was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John under his arm. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians, Thessalonians, no, James. In the world today, there are some 1,200 million Christians and 1,000 million Muslims at loggerheads on the subjects of their revealed scriptures, which is, the Bible of the Christians and the Quran of the Muslims. When Sheikh Ahmed D. Dat gives a lecture on the subject of two pictures of Jesus, Quranic Biblical, in Arizona in the mid-80s, some questioner asked about the Injil being one of the revelation in Islam. The occasion of the questioner is, that the Injil is the Bible, and how come the Muslim denies it? The question of this man, represent the same question for the ordinary people who did not know much about the Injil. Even the Muslims, since the Quran spoke about the Injil being the word of God and also the Arabic word for the Bible is Injil, many of the Muslims still thinking that the Injil is the Bible of the Christians. For the information, the Injil is the revelation, that God Almighty gave to Holy Prophet Isa peace be upon him. And the Quran is the revelation that God Almighty gave to our Nabi Karim Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is the last instruction book for mankind. So in this opportunity, Sheikh Ahmed Didat's explanation will clearly enlighten the Christians and all of us about the difference between the Injil and the Bible. This evening you've made it very clear that there are severe discrepancies um, even contradictions between the Gospels and the Quran. And yet I seem to remember that the Quran regards the Gospels very highly. And I was wondering if you could clarify for me what the precise Quranic position is on the Gospels. The term Gospel translated into Arabic is Injil. And we in Islam, we say we believe in the Torah. We believe in the Zabur, we believe in the Injil, and we believe in the Furqan. Furqan is the Quran. We believe in all these heavenly books as books from God. So the Injil translated into English say gospel. Gospel into Arabic is Injil. So what does the Quran say or the Muslims say about the Injil? I say Injil we believe in. Injil is the revelation which God Almighty gave to the Holy Prophet Jesus. Whatever God gave him is the Injil. We read in the scriptures, in the Matthew, Gospel of St. Matthew, that Jesus went somewhere and he preached the Gospel. Translated Injil. Mark says he went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Injil. Luke says he went to some place and he preached the in Gospel. Injil. Then John tells us that Jesus went to a certain place and he preached the in Gospel. Injil. I am asking that Injil was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John under his arm. Did he have it? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians, Thessalonians, you know, James. Is that what he had under his arm? The answer is no. What did he have? A book. Did he? No. It is the revelation which God gave him. That is what he was preaching. The knowledge that God gave him he was preaching. That is what we believe in. It's from God. We speak very highly of it. But now what you are presenting to us is the gospel according to St. Matthew, the gospel according to St. Mark, the gospel according to St. Luke, the gospel according to St. John, which you in your Arabic translations translate as Injile Matthew, Injile Marcus, Injile Lucas, Injile Johanna. That's how your scholars translate these gospels. Injile, Matthew, Luca, Marcus, Lucas, Johanna. I said, look, we are believing in the Injile Isa, the Injil that was given to Jesus, not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So if you can produce the gospel according to Saint Jesus, that is what we believe in. We'd like to see that, if you have it. That is the one that we respect and revere. I hope that makes it clear. Now we realize that the Injil of the Prophet Isa peace be upon him is not the Bible. Because the word Bible comes from the Greek word, Biblis, and this Biblis means a book, not Injil. Hopefully this video can strengthen our faith as Muslims and also as a reference for us, to provide enlightenment when discussions about this topic arise, wherever we are. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for always following the Ezreal Hack Channel's updates. If you find the benefit of this content, 
please give your support by hitting the like button, comment, and subscribe. I will see you soon on the next video.